Hey guys, for today's video, I have the new mascara from Pretty Vulgar. Um, this is the Faux Reels Extreme Volume Mascara. It's 30 Canadian dollars and 23 US dollars, and you get 0.36 ounces or 10.5 milliliters. I think most mascaras are like eight to 10 milliliters, just to give you an idea. I'm a sucker for packaging, and this packaging is pretty cute. It's not super heavy or anything. It's just like a normal feeling mascara. Um, but I really like the design that's on it. It's got these birds and leaves and it's just really cute. I love the color scheme and the drawings and I mean, I just love it. It kind of goes with my mirror back there. I think it makes it uh, pretty unique. This mascara is vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, gluten-free. They're just pleasing everyone around here. And it's supposed to provide fullness and a false lash effect in one swipe. So whenever I'm like doing a video about any type of products, I go on the Sephora app, if it's sold at Sephora, and just kind of look at what it says on there, see if there's anything that catches my eye, anything in the directions, what it's supposed to do, that kind of thing. So I was looking at the how to use part on the Sephora app for this mascara. And most of it was pretty standard, like you don't really need to read it. But this line stood out to me. It says, Use this uniquely shaped wand, uniquely shaped wand, for easy application, helping you reach every single lash. Uniquely shaped wand. I don't know about you, but I can think of quite a few mascaras that have very similar wand shape to this one. I don't think it's really that unique. I mean, the first one that I thought of, and probably a lot of you did too, was the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex mascara, which is already a cult favorite and I don't know, it's not that unique. So I have tried this mascara a few times already, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply it on camera and then I'll talk about my feelings towards it at the end and then I'll kinda do a wear test and show you how it wears throughout the day. First though, I'm gonna give you a close up of my lashes. I say this all the time, but my lashes are pretty, they're not pretty short, they're on the shorter side and they have a bit of a curl to them already, so. This is what we are working with. So it says you're supposed to get false lashes in one swipe, but I can't even get all of my eyelashes in one swipe. All right, so here's just this eye has one coat on it. So when I pull it out of the tube and when I apply it on my eyes, I can feel that the formula is kind of wet but also thick at the same time it's kind of like thick and whipped feeling it's not very messy though which is good so so far these lashes look pretty separated definitely lengthened and there's a tiny bit of volume there All right, now here's both eyes with one coat on each side. I think they look nice and wispy and lengthened. There is a tiny bit of volume there, but I think it mostly gave me length. Now I'm gonna try to build it up. I'm gonna add another coat onto this eye here. I did make a bit of a mess there. I'm pretty bad at applying mascara gracefully. It always, something always happens. <laughs> okay, so here's two coats compared to one coat and you can definitely see there's more length and more volume with the second coat, which is great. I do think my lashes got a bit more grouped together with the second coat. So it looks like I have a bit less lashes, but it's actually not that bad. I did let the first coat dry completely before I apply the second coat. Some mascaras you can get away with um, applying a second coat when it's like not 100% dry yet. I tried that with this one the last couple of days though and it is kind of just a big mess. So I recommend letting your first coat dry before you apply a second coat just so it's less messy. Now I'm gonna add a second coat to this eye here. Okay, now here's both eyes with two coats each. I think this eye looks a bit better. My lashes look a bit more separated. They still both um, have more volume and length than the first coat, so that is good. I typically don't wear mascara on my lower lashes, but for today, I'm just gonna put one coat on the bottom lashes to see how it looks and how easy it is to get it on there. Cause I just, I just always make a mess.
Okay, here's one coat on the bottom lash on this side. I think it looks pretty standard. Nothing much to say about it. A little bit of length, a little bit of volume. I did get a little bit on my cheek here, but I wiped it away, no problem. Okay, now here's everything all finished. Um, we got two coats on the top and one coat on the bottom. Now, I think this mascara actually looks better than the last couple of days that I've tried it on. I think the main difference in today and the last couple of days is that I let the first coat completely dry before I applied a second coat. I found it was just getting too goopy before. Um, so you really gotta let it dry and then your lashes will stay separated. So yeah, as far as the look of my lashes go, we got the length, we got the volume, it's pretty big buildable. My lashes are still nice and soft feeling and they look separated, not goopy, not messy. All is good in the application. Now, I have worn this for a couple of days. Um, went to work with it a couple of days and so it's got a full day's wear test and spoiler alert, it smudged on me the last couple of days. It transferred onto my top lashes. It didn't really flake so much, but it was transferring onto my skin. So that's what I'm gonna test for again today. I'm gonna see if anything has changed and we will just check back in in a few hours. I think it's just a bit after 10 a.m. right now. So I don't even know what I'm doing today, but I'll just check back later. Hey guys, um, so it's almost 5 p.m. I'm just about to go out for dinner and I kind of wanted to just check in now with just a little bit of natural light outside so you can see what's going on. So as you can see, it didn't flake or smudge at all. It still looks really good. Now the last couple of days that I wore it, it did smudge. Not a ton, but like I could wipe it away and it was gone and it was just like whatever, but it did still smudge. And I'm thinking it's because when I'm at work, I'm just kind of sitting at my desk and staring a bit up at my computer screen and my lashes are lifted and resting against my face for like eight hours a day. So I'm guessing that's why it's more prone to smudging when I'm doing that. But today I was just kind of hanging out at home and cleaning and just doing whatever. So I was doing a variety of things. I wasn't like staring for eight hours, you know? Not that I just stare for eight hours at work, but you know what I mean. So I'm guessing that's why it didn't smudge today, but that's not to say that it won't smudge another day. So if you are looking to get this mascara, I can't promise that it won't smudge because I have had it smudge the last couple of days, but today it looks pretty good. And like if it was just today and just today's results only, I would recommend this. And that's not to say that it's a bad mascara. Besides the smudging the last couple of days, I recommend it. I think my lashes look pretty great and I mean, today it didn't smudge or flake, so that's good. But I can't promise that it won't smudge, so that's just something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna go for dinner, and if anything changes, I'll leave it in the comments below. But I mean, at this point, it's been seven hours-ish. I don't think much is gonna change at this point. So overall, it's not a bad mascara. I like the way my lashes look. I got the length, got the curl, got the volume. My lashes feel soft. Like, there's nothing worse than when you put on some mascara and your lashes just feel hard and nasty you know anyways i think that's it um i do have a giveaway going on right now until march 5th i'll leave that linked down below the details of that are in my pat mcgrath mascara review so if you're interested definitely go check that out that's all i have thanks for watching and i'll see you later bye